Well, you know, Hearts of Iron 4 is known for being a World War II game, but that doesn't mean it can also be a, a, a wide array of different things, including Lord of the Rings game. And there's also the Soviet Union over here, which I'm kind of tempted to play as the Soviet Union. It's just like this weird line that says Soviet Union. There's, there's like a weird glitch thing right here. There's some houses in the water. It's, it's pretty cool, but I don't think I'm going to play as them, I guess. Maybe I'll have a playthrough as them sometime. <laughs> I wonder what happens. Well, we'll figure that out another time. This time, we're going to play as Mordor, because they're probably the most interesting nation to play as, I'd assume. I guess we'll do historical AI focuses. I don't know what exactly that entails. I have to point this out. This is actually really, really cool. They actually have, like, their own kind of, like, armor units. Like, they don't have it for amphibious tanks, so... <laughs> but then, maybe the coolest thing I've ever seen in Hoi 4. Look at this! Oh, such a cool build model right there. Oh, Baradur. So amazing. So cool. That's, like, that's, like, my favorite thing ever. <laughs> That's awesome, but so for focus tree I've decided there's kind of this entire focus with the ring Which is actually really cool, and there's also a possibility to become communists Which you know I'm gonna do soon enough probably after this playthrough But we're gonna go for a centralized economy just because it gives us two free Civilian factories where this one just gives infrastructure and I've never been a fan of in infrastructure even though it's an important I'd rather get two civilian factories than Whatever, how many infrastructure that is. So we'll start with our industry, as you should. We also have quite a, quite a factory base to produce some swords with. Maybe some tanks. I probably won't do any of that until I have the light tank too. We could just go after the easy, non-aligned people. I don't know if there's guarantee mechanics really in the game. But I think it could be fun, just, you know, we can do whatever we want. You have this cool general guy, like, look at this guy. Oh, wait a second, I forgot about the entire mountains thing. It's really good defensively, at least. Oh, yes, some lore. Let's read this. Okay, the War of the Ring. The War of the Ring evolves around many things. But of course, a small golden trinket lies at the center of it all, the One Ring. In this mod, the One Ring adopts the form of a national spirit that grants a very significant stat boost to all your divisions. The nations of Thorian... <laughs> Isengard, Gondor, Mordor can try to obtain the ring through their focus tree during specific time frames. The likeliness of these attempts being successful depends on the strength of the fellowship protecting Frodo. Okay. At around whenever that is, Rivendell will invoke Elrond's council. The nations of Gondor, Mirkwood, and Erebor can now choose to add either their finest warrior, a decent replacement, or no one at all to the fellowship. Watch out for a news event titled The Fellowship of the Ring and take a quick glance at the event's picture. It will quickly reveal who exactly is part of the Fellowship and you will be able to estimate how likely the ring is to be intercepted. So, should no nation manage to obtain the ring by 1943, Frodo will destroy it and the nation of Mordor will be severely weakened. <laughs> oh no, okay. Should anything be unclear, check the mods work. Okay, sounds good. One political power, how nice, that's that's a nice touch right there. Ooh, paranormal activities in the Shire. Okay, the North Arth Arthidian region, commonly Nkanoan as the Shire, has been subject to recent commotion when one of their eldest members mysteriously vanished during his birthday celebrations, Bilbo Baggins. The oldest living hobbit, age 111, was just given his birthday speech when he reportedly vanished into thin air. Hobbit authorities are investigating the happening. Allegedly, the disappearance occurred shortly after the arrival of Fireworks Specialist Gandalf the Grey. Oh yes, Fireworks Specialist, oh yeah. At the village, he is being detained as a suspect for now. Bilbo was always qu a quiet and reserved type of person, but I didn't imagine he would just leave so suddenly, said Josephine Maxwell. Baggins worrying. <laughs> I like our leader model to Sauron. Decryption plus 50%. <laughs> nice, nice bonus right there. And I noticed we're also on service by requirement, so I think this might be a first for me, but I'm actually gonna go straight to extensive conscription at the start of the game, only to get away from service by requirement. I want my construction speed back and division training time. But yeah, I really need to conquer the realm of Harad too, just for more, you know, 
states to build things in. I guess they don't actually have that many states, but still. I just need building space. Oh, a wizard clash at Orthonk. Orthonk? A physical fight erupted in the Tower of Orthonk. Oh, Isengard. Yeah, during a heated debate between two wizards, Saruman, leader of the Order of the Wizards, reportedly closed the door on his former confidant Gandalf the Grey, the firework guy. Yeah, prompting him to throw Saruman off his feet. Oh, it's, it's stupid. You just can't find a good firework guy these days, so oh dear. The Fellowship of the Ring? Ah, uh, okay... What? Hmm, uh, th th that's... that's probably not good for us. Okay, time for this very unorthodox war. Maybe we can s prove Sauron's tactics wrong. Maybe he should have gone off after the realm of Harad 2? If they're canon? I don't even know. Let's go. Okay, well that war was easy. They definitely weren't ready, and look at that. We've at least tripled our font size from that little war. And we have a much better position to invade Gondor from, it looks like. These guys are in the faction of the Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity Sphere, wow. That's kinda cool. <laughs> well, I guess the Soviet Union's here too, so whatever. Okay, now I have a very important choice to make. I can either play the long game, do the, uh, Isengard, whatever, get the ring, or I can just conquer everything really fast. I think that's a good idea. Plus 20% division attack? That's, like, better than the bonus for having the ring. It's just plus 10. Wait, Aragorn's already king of Gondor? This, this is going faster than I thought. Is the ring already gonna be here? Um, uh, I may have not anticipated how quickly this is going. I, I should probably be attacking Gondor right now. What's Isengard doing? Well, let's see how long Aragorn can hold Kingdom of Gondor. Doesn't look like they're guaranteed by anybody. They're in a faction with the Vassal Kingdom up there. Hopefully their <laughs> Vassal Kingdom isn't a major or anything. Because then we would have a lot of countries to go through to get to them. Well, Minas Tirith fell, no epic battle this time, and the Kingdom of Gondor is about to capitulate. How oh, should we get the compassionate gentleman as Sauron? Sounds like a good idea. We need to improve some relations, alright? Wow, okay, well that was... That was pretty good war, I guess. Okay, well, we, we've... This is, this is pretty fun. I feel like Mordor. Like Mordor's just a tad bit overpowered, but that is an amazing thing. No one wants to play in a Lord of the Rings mod where Sauron is incredibly weak or just not that strong. But it's only fun if you're not playing as them. Well, it is fun when you're playing as them because you can, you know, roll over everybody else, but it's really fun when you're playing as one of the countries that has to stop Mordor. And I'm excited to be able to do that. So thank you for watching this 
episode of the Lord of the Rings mod. I'll probably be playing more in the future. Well, I'm all for sure be playing more in the future if you guys want to see it. I'll maybe play another episode of Mordor where I clean things up. But I, what I'm really excited to do is play as some of these other countries, like maybe the Shire or the Brother Wealth of Hobbits led by Lotho Baggins. <laughs> cool stuff, anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to subscribe and give this video a like. See you guys next time.